Good morning. It is January 10th, 2019, and I want to wish all of my viewers in the Falkland Islands a happy Margaret Thatcher Day. Yesterday was a great day. What can I say? Um, the rides were there. I made my goal and, 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 and then some. Um, it really gave me a lift. Uh, hoping for the same today, of course. Uh, and otherwise, if not, I have a trivia tonight with my good friend Jesse. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll make a little bit there. I still have a $10 gift card from the last time we played. So it should be a good night out. All right, January 10th. There's a lot going on in history at this point. Uh, and in fact, today I did what I probably should have done. I went to Wikipedia uh, to get their information for on this day in history. And boy, they have a lot more. So we're going to try to run through this pretty quick here. 49 BC on today's date, Julius Caesar crosses the Rubicon and thus starting a civil war in Rome. And once that was completed, though, there was peace forever. Thank you. Let's jump ahead to 1920. On this date, the Treaty of Versailles take, uh, took full effect, thus officially ending World War I, the war to end all wars, and there was never any more war. In 1920, also the exact same day, the League of Nations co co Covenant takes effect, ensuring that all nations can work together to prevent war forever and forever. In 1927, Fritz Lang's Metropolis was released in Germany. Uh, if you haven't seen it, take a chance to go see it, although be prepared. It can be a bit long. It is in black and white. It is silent. Some copies have a sort of a classical soundtrack. Some copies out there actually have more of a modern or a rock soundtrack. Um, or alternatively, just find a really good video essay and you'll get the point in much less time. But if you're into filmmaking, if you're into really neat visuals and early effects, it's it's a cool movie. In 1946, on this date, January 10th, the first General Assembly of the United Nations was held. This was an organization to make sure that all of the countries together in the world could come to agreements through peaceful means. Thus, there was never any wars again. In 1966, there on this date, um, the Tashkent, Tashkent Declaration uh, was put into effect. This was a peace agreement between India and Pakistan, ending the Indian-Pakistani War of 1965. And there was peace throughout. No more conflicts between India and Pakistan. Now, in 1990, in 1990, uh, Time Inc. and Warner uh, Communications combined to form Time Warner. Time Warner. And ever since that date, in 1990, there have been no more wars between internet or cable providers. It's really a peaceful day today. Uh, birthdays. Actually, there are a lot of neat uh, musician birthdays today. Um, 1924, Max Roach was born. Now, Max Roach is a very influential and amazing jazz drummer. Um, and he's just got a really badass name, Max Roach. Uh, I read somewhere many, many years ago. He was one of the first uh, jazz musicians to get... Um, uh, busted for pot. Uh, so there you go. Max Roach and pot. Okay. Uh, 1943, on this date, Jim Croce was born. I have nothing to say about Jim Croce one way or another, but a lot of people like him. And he, today is his birthday. 1945, on this date, Rod Stewart was born. <sighs> yeah, he kind of became a joke. Like, fairly quickly in the big scheme of things. Um, but if you go back and listen to the early Rod Stewart, uh, particularly uh, his debut on the first Jeff Beck album, 
uh, and some of his earlier work, say, with um, Solo and with The Faces. And the guy's the guy brings it. Uh, when he wants to rock, he can deliver one hell of a good rock performance. I'm kind of sorry to see him doing standards, but not as sorry as I was to see him do disco. Another drummer, 1946, Ainsley Dunbar, or Ansley Dunbar. I may have to be British or actually listen to somebody else to get the right pronunciation on that. A-Y-N-S-L-E-Y. Uh, I know him from a few projects. Um, I want to say uh, Frank Zapp is where I've heard most of his work. Uh, anyway, a very well-regarded drummer and uh, quite liked by many. 1948, Donald Fagan was born. Now, those of you who don't recognize his name will re definitely recognize his music. Donald Fagan was one half of the partnership that uh, Steely Dan devolved into. It did start off as a bigger band, but um, uh, 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 very early on, um, Donald Fagan and his partner uh, took over and... Uh, use studio musicians and whatnot. But happy birthday, Donald Fagan. Uh, he died recently, if I'm not mistaken, although that might have been the other one. I think it was Donald Fagan that did. 1953, Pat Benatar was born on this date. Now, if you're much younger than me, you have no idea who she is. I think she kind of fell off the face of the earth. Um, she was a lead singer in uh, American rock music. She was a woman that got her uh, uh, a bit of attention and a lot of hard steps to uh, to overcome. I mean, she rocked out for early 80s. It it, it wasn't bad. Um, I don't think she's really lasted or, or uh, kept much in the public imagination uh, beyond that. Going back a little bit, 1949, Linda Lovelace was born on this day. Linda Lovelace was known as um, uh, the star of Deep Throat, a, uh, a 1973, I think, 72 or 73 porn movie that was uh, released widely in many theaters, uh, caught, was definitely part of the public conversation, and uh, it was from that movie that uh, the informant, uh, that Bob Woodward was using in Watergate, uh, in, in his Watergate investigations, was termed Deep Throat uh, as a code name, and that just helped make the term come out a lot more. But uh, happy birthday, Linda Lovelace. And finally, uh, 1959, uh, Fran Walsh was born. And uh, Fran Walsh was, um, or is, a, uh, a screenwriter, and she worked with uh, uh, Peter Jackson and his wife on adapting The Lord of the Rings to the uh, movie screen. And she's forever got my respect. Uh, that was one heck of a production. Uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy really, really just set such a high bar uh, in adapting fantasy like that. And... Um, bringing it to the screen, and I think the script had a huge part to do with it. So thank you, Fran Walsh. All right. We're moving up on the nine-minute mark, uh, so at least we won't hit ten. Thank you so much for sticking around, if anyone did, and I will be back to talk to me again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.